Who doesn't love breakfast in bed? I know I do. Whether it's for a special occasion like Mother's Day or somebody's birthday, surprise your loved one with this tasty twist on French toast. Today I'm going to show you how to make a peanut butter and jelly stuffed French toast. So what I have here is we're going to make, um, I almost call it like a peanut butter mousse. Um, we're going to take a little bit of cream cheese, it's about a cup of cream cheese, and we're going to mix it or whip it light and fluffy. To this we're going to add a cup of peanut butter. Your favorite peanut butter, whatever you like, chunky, smooth, about a couple tablespoons of confectionery sugar. This is about three. This adds just a little bit of sweetness. All right, see how creamy that is? We're just gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna show you how to do the batter for our French toast. Here I have three eggs, a cup of skim milk, What's great about this recipe, it's, it's a full meal. You know, you have everything. You got your peanut butter, which has protein. You got some fruit. And I even like to use whole wheat bread. This way, when it's battered, the kids won't even know that it's not white, that it's whole wheat. So we're just gonna whisk this up. I'm adding about a teaspoon of vanilla, teaspoon of cinnamon. And again, I'm just gonna put this right to the side and we're gonna stuff our French toast. So like I said, I have whole wheat bread and here we're gonna put a nice spoonful of our peanut butter on each one. This is so light and fluffy and creamy. It's just gonna be warm and gooey after we cook it. Now I have an oven preheating to about 325 because what we're going to do is we're actually going to cook them in on a pan first and then finish them in the oven. This way you're guaranteed that they're nice and warm all the way through and through. Here I have strawberry preserves. Now again, use what you like. And just a little bit of jelly right on top. Firmly press down that top piece. All right, just let them gonna sit a minute. I'm just gonna show you how we're gonna finish our French toast. Here I have some beautiful uh, fresh berries. Strawberries, blackberries, raspberries. And to this, I'm just gonna be adding some pure maple syrup. Makes such a difference. We're just gonna drizzle a little bit of syrup over these berries and let them sit while we're cooking our French toast. And then that will be our topper. So now I have my pan here getting nice and hot and we're gonna add about three tablespoons of butter. All right, let's batter our French toasts. Give that egg mixture one, one last whisk. Sometimes that cinnamon likes to float on top. So just, it's a little, it gets a little messy, but it's all worth it. Right onto our pan. Simple, simple, but so delicious. That special loved one will love this breakfast in bed. We're gonna let those cook nice and brown on both sides. Now what we're going to do is get them ready to go into the oven. And like I said, 325, it's just about maybe five to eight minutes, just, just to warm them up through and through. All right, so we're ready to go into the oven.
And these will stay in there for about five, maybe eight minutes. It's been about six minutes, and I'm gonna go grab the French toast. It's, I can smell it, it smells amazing. Looking great. Look at how pretty this is. I have a beautiful tray all ready to go. Coffee, juice, pretty flour. I'm gonna take one of our French toasts right on our plate here. Some of our berry syrup right on there. Oh my gosh, that looks so beautiful. Who wouldn't love that? Who wouldn't love this breakfast in bed? For more great ideas for breakfast in bed, go to dinnertool.com.